What's going on, guys? Welcome to a, another uh, Magianos Online Dominaria draft. Shout out to Nifty Chris. Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. And uh, -de 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 -de. we've taken Adelie so many times. It's probably better than Sapperling Migration. How many times do we have to be blue red wizards, though? That's my question. Yeah, we're recording and we're live without a hitch, so I guess we're good. Yeah, it is probably Adelie's is probably the strongest card. Come on, it's let's be real, it's probably Adelie's. But oh god, puts us in two colors. What's up, mental ma'am? Valduck, ooh, Neros, thank you so much. Three subs, three months in a row. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I think it's just Valduck here again. Like if we took if we took infestation, we could take take herd here, sap herd. Um, I'm just gonna take the Valduck, and we're just gonna do what we did yesterday. Hopefully, either one of these comes back. I'll also take this just because it's great with Adelies. So. I think Valduck is probably similar on power as Benalish Marshall. <coughs> the reason I say that is because it only costs one red. This guy costs three, three white, which makes him a little lower. Wait, so hold on. There was a five month in a row, a four month in a row, a three month in a row. Wow, that's actually hilarious. That's really funny how that worked out that way. And then you get a pack like this where you're like, okay, it's all garbage. Blood Tallow Candle. Actually, Skittering Surveyor is pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't need to tell you guys that. The green cards are great. Gorger and another Migration are, are pretty good. Quende is good. Call the Cavalry is good. All these off-color four-mana cards like Call the Cavalry, Gorger, Quende are good. I think it's just Surveyor here. That's what you get for ignoring the signals pack. Yeah, that's that's what I get. Cold stars. I don't actually know if there is a way to check who who gifts subs. Hmm. Oh, Brett, I did see your sub 19 hours ago. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that as well. I'm going to take Surveyor. There's no reason to take an off-color card. <sighs> the regret is real right now. All right, now we're taking Tiana. You're just making it too easy for us. And we can just splash the Adelies. All right, fine. With Valduck and a Tiana, I probably want the short sword here. I like Corsair. I also like Journey Mage, but if we're not blue, then we don't really have a reason to take it. Uh, I like Adept a lot, even if it's only shooting for one, and I think it's better than all these other cards. So we're going to take Adept here. All right, now the white is gone. So see what happens, guys? You see what you did? You see what you did? Look what you did, you little jerks. Uh, Matthew Ori, I definitely did not snuggle with my internet yesterday. That is, uh, I think that's against FCC violations. There's a little, like, fruit fly flying around here, and it's making my life miserable. I am going to take... I mean, I like Flight because of Valduck, but, I mean, Memorial is just way better. And we can also probably get more Flights. And Radiant Lightning. Gideon's Approach is really late. Are we just three colors? I think we can actually be three, color, three colors here. I think that's totally fine. Like, Reproach is better than Lightning. I do like having Lightning, though. We can probably get more Lightnings. Hmm...
I, I really haven't been impressed with Wand at all. And I think it's probably better than just a random Fire Elemental, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Run Amok is good. It's just fine to have. Adamant Will is also fine. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know where we are right now. Wow. Well, that's certainly a thing in it. Orcish Vandal might actually be playable. Depending on how many artifacts we get. Good lord. It's a mythic. I wish it was a Teferi. Oh, I would take Umizawa. I don't think Trickster is good at all. Trickster is super boring. I would take Tetsuko Umizawa, especially because we have uh, things like Valduck, so all of our three ones would be unblockable. Yeah, that's insane. I think that's so much better than uh, than Trickster, but I think it's Daragaz. Because, boy, am I the greediest player ever. Um... Chris, I've been sick for like a week now, buddy. I'm on the tail end of it, though. So, Hey, Jaya Ballard gets passed to us. That's pretty sweet. So does Riff Raff. Riff Raff. Riff Raff. Wow, all, the, all these cards are insane. Okay, well. Um, and there's an Eviscerate in this pack because we're black now. Yeah, we're five colors again, guys, just to be clear. <clears throat> yeah this pack is busted we don't necessarily have to be white but white's pretty good I feel like it could just be Jay Ballard here it's like she's a planeswalker right We actually don't have to be blue. I guess that's a good point. Being able to loot up to three cards away is pretty good, guys. I, I, we, we, we defaulted to this, unfortunately. But I still think that's totally fine. We could cut both of these blue cards. And now feel better about our four-color deck instead. Yeah, she's not a great Planeswalker, but she is a Planeswalker Unlimited. Is this Avon Sentry? Uh, I feel like board is terrible in every deck. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hits for it. It's not ideal. Oh, Glider's actually pretty good with uh, with Orcish Vandal. It's either that or Dove Haunt Trapper, but Glider's easier on the mana. We, we don't really need to have a white on turn two. Hmm. 
Mm, Triumph's pretty good. I also do like just having a Radiant Lightning. <coughs> Blaze it? I don't even know what that means. What are you even saying right now? I don't know how it could be grow when we're, we're splashing the the green. Like we're not gonna ha we, like if we already have a green, then we only need a black. Plus, we don't actually have to take this. Is the thing. I'm gonna take triumph here. Uh, compass is probably where we want to be. Which is really sad, but this deck is crazy right now. I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, the only other card I can see taking is Knight of New Vidalia. I'll just take the Compass. The compass is a necessary evil. It's also fine with Orcish Vandal, so. What is this pack? What is going on here? We'll take the Arcane Flight in case we end up playing it. And by it, I mean red. mind to killed an overseer oh all right Kelvin Raider is pretty good for us oh wow the raft came back jeez that's insane I might be leaning more towards uh toward the blue than the, than the other color now Dark Bargain's good. Oh, the Radiant Lighting came back. Fantastic. All right, everything's coming up, Millhouse. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, since then we've picked up a riff, a riff raff, and a compass. So, Thor Confidant doesn't work on Magic Online anymore. It's not a May ability. Chris, 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 please leave. I rescind your subscription. Uh, this card's pretty good every single time. So we also have one, two, three, four. And we have Jaya Ballard. Oh my god, Jaya Ballard and Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh-oh, it's magic! Oh man, that's pretty good. Dingus Egg, we've seen a couple. I, I'm sorry we haven't been keeping uh, accurate track for you. That is, I feel like we've all dropped the ball there. How's this, how's this deck looking in terms of rares here? Oh, only three. All right. Uncommons are on point, though. Yeah, we're basically base red splashing a bunch of... Uh, uh, we can take Adamant Will out if we're just splashing. Two-headed giant. All right, seems good. I have no problem with that. I would really like another Skittering Surveyor in this deck. I, I hope this Knight of Grace comes back, but I'm not going to pass up a, a two-headed giant. This card's very solid. I actually don't think Run Amok is that bad, especially when this guy has Double Strike. Or when you're targeting your Adelies and all your other guys get plus one, plus one. Your Wizards, anyway. I, I think this card's actually a fine combat trick. Uh, Baird is double white. Shivan Fire is probably the pick here. 
I don't have a problem with the Shivan Fire. You'll get caught up in the Shivan Fire. And there's a bunch of stuff in here that I wouldn't mind tabling, like E2 Chronicler, uh, Vicious Offering, etc. Come on, we're looking for that one, that one sweet skittering surveyor. Does Sentinel do anything for us? Blink a legendary, Blink a historic permanent. Eh, Blink's a skittering surveyor. I don't actually hate that. I mean, I think it's arguably better than most of these other cards. Grow from the Ashes is good, but... It's only good if we already have green. I just don't feel like there's any... Amber! Hope you're recovering well, buddy. All right, we took... Oh, wow, that is a late seal away. I mean, I'm going to take it. I took Grow because, like, if we do play Navigator's Compass and Skittering Surveyor, we can always get one green, and then the green turns on the Grow. <clears throat> I don't really have a reason not to play the blue here. It's just an easy splash. Like, Raph is amazing with things like Fire Fist. Like, turns Fire Fist add up into, a two, into two damage. Like, it's just a 3-3 flyer with Flash. Like, it's great with Adelie's, like... Being able to cast things like Tiana or Jaya Ballard at instant speed. Like. It also turns our Jaya, Jaya's Emulating Inferno into an instant. Well, I mean, like, it's just. The cost is so minimal to splash a, a Raph here. Yeah, I mean, Adelie's is probably on the. On the. On the list. What the hell does that mean? In the list? I don't know. It's probably Invoke. I just want a card that, that does this effect. Oh, all right. Here we go. Five colors on all the way, boys. Wow, no skittering surveyors. Is this... Are we an Arvad deck? I mean, we're every other color deck, right? Monster Monster, eight months. I just want to stop by and say you're cool. I wish you could be just like you. Please write a book to tell me how. I'll never do that. You'll never be able to read my book. Well, we're never we're never playing this monst monstrosity of a card. This card is the biggest trap I've ever seen. Which is why it's still here for the eighth pick. <clears throat> Excuse my coughs. I'm just going to take you. I'm going to take another invoke here. I think Rampaging Slyclops is pretty much doo doo. Oh, Mesa Unicorn. That's actually pretty nice. That's a nice early guy. I'd rather play you than Knight of New Benelli if I have a choice. Mm, I'll take the Sarah's Disciple here. Oh, none of these cards are exciting. I do like a lifelink, though. Oh, I do like a life. Uh, let's make a rescue, actually. Oh, Divest is actually a solid sideboard card we can use. All right, so this looks like our deck minus one card, except we also have Adelie's in the sideboard. I don't know if Valduck is great for us. I think like we only have Short Sword to really take advantage of his, his abilities. We also do have an Arcane Flight in the sideboard, but... Also, with Tiana, it might be worth it. We could bring in Sorcerer's Wand, but I don't think that card's very good. Also, Gal, Gal Valduck is good with Arvad. Valduck and Arvad. Two great tastes that go great together. That taste great together? You know what I'm saying. <coughs> so, 
realistically, I want to bring in Adelies. We can take out Orcish Vandal. We can take out Aestir Glider. I kind of want to bring an Arcane Flight, too. Adelies is also a wizard, which goes well with Fire Fist Adept. Also, this deck has enough room. Oh, we could probably take out Overseer, actually. That guy's, a, that guy's bad on three and fine on seven. This is exactly the kind of deck I want to be, be playing right now. We can also play Moral Genius and... Uh, Arcane Flight's good because we can get it back with Tiana, but we can also put it on just like a... We can just put it on Arvad and make a 4-4 flyer with, with Lifelink. I think you're... I think we're trying to live the dream if we have Vandal, Short Sword, and Tiana in play at the same time. Because outside of that, I really don't want to sacrifice the Compass. I don't want to sacrifice this guy if I have a choice. Um, and otherwise, it's a 1-1 one, one for 2. Yeah, Overseer is fine with Tetsuko, but I don't have a Tetsuko, so I don't know why we're... Uh, we're splashing green for Darigaz. I don't know if you saw the Darigaz. So, like, if we if we get a green, like, if we have Grow to Ashes in hand, we can we can get a green with this or this, and then we just actually fix our whole mana base, which I think is completely fine. This deck looks amazing. <laughs> our sideboard also looks great. We have Double Invoke, we have Radiant Lightning, uh, Pierce the Sky, Rescue, Divest. I don't love Run Amok, but I think it's actually a pretty good way to push through some damage. Especially because we have a lot of lifelink creatures like Mesa Unicorn and uh, Arvad. And anything that hits Tri Triumph of Gerard hits, so... Plus, like, it's just a combo with Double Strike here, so. We have Valdic with one equipment, but we also have Arcane Flight. And it's also, it also helps uh, us cast Jaya's Immolating Fire. So, I mean, we're not just playing Valduk because he's also just a 3-2 for 3, which is not terrible. I mean, it's not like we have no combos. Here, like, let's hear all the cards that go well with, with, our, with, with Valduk. I, I think that's completely justifiable to play Valduk in this deck. Uh, I don't think an 18th land does anything for us. Like, we don't need to hit more land drops, especially because we have, like, Skittering Surveyor and Grow from the Ashes. We just need to hit... Like, we have... We're going to play one one forest, which gives us three sources of green. So, as soon as we hit one source of green and a Grow from the Ashes, then we hit every other color in our deck. And we're going to play one Memorial. And one Island. Raise you... There's some seven there, six there, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen. Yep, this actually seems great. You like Flame of Keld? Like, you want to discard our hand? This is not a deck we're going to unload our hand quickly. We're going to draw Flames of Keld. And, or unless you mean Kelden Overseer. In which case, I could see that. Maybe. But there's also multiple cards with Keld in the name, so hard to say. Oh, you meant the Saga? Weird. No way. Like, this is a deck where we're going to play one threat a turn, and then we're going to have infinite cards in our hand. All right, we're going to save it like this, and then we're going to do the deed. Deck looks great. This is a masterpiece. Just utterly beautiful. I'm actually fine with this hand. All we need is a white, a black, and a green, and we're we're in business. But seriously, white is our our second highest color, 
and uh, we have at least one card we can cast. I think this hand is totally fine. I think anyone who thinks this deck is a train wreck uh, is has not done very many drafts in this format. These decks have performed very well for me, surprisingly enough. That's a good one. That is a good one. Shivan Fire. Hmm. Whole deck is online now. Uh, I tried Arena. It wasn't, uh... Wasn't... I wasn't super impressed. Um... As far as uh, freshly brewed, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know. I think we might just be on hiatus for for the foreseeable future. I don't really see any. Well, I've been—I mean, I stream every day, and I uh, upload YouTube videos every day. So, you know, you don't have to miss me. I'm here. I'm here for you, Orange Shield. Hmm. Do we just Valduck Arcane Flight and make a guy? I mean, alternatively, we can flash in Wrath, try to block here, but if they equip here, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> Orange Shield, thank you so much for saying so, man. I appreciate that. That's a great compliment. Um, Yeah, Ollie's great. I love Ollie to death. Uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is, uh, we haven't really discussed what's going on with the podcast. I know we just don't go out of our way to do it. And, um, like it's difficult for me because I, I've mentioned this before on, on stream, but like I'm, I end up doing a lot of the, the back end work for it. They're just going to play land eviscerate our Valduck, but we got three damage out of it. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So I'm going to assume you have an adamant will, but I'm just going to take five here. I have, or, or you have, actually, you could have Gideon's Reproach as well. <coughs> Either one of those. Or you could just have the black trick, but I think that's much less likely. It's just not as good. Yep, that's pretty good for us. Wow, our deck is great. So just to be clear, we have colors for Darigaz and every other card right now. I mean, you block here, but we're not necessarily blocking any of your things, so... And we're just going to keep Raph up. I mean, I would love to get a producer for the podcast, but our, like, I don't think we, we don't do nearly well enough to, to warrant that. We're definitely a middle of the road podcast. They're at six and we get to flash in a three, three flyer. Feels good. Orange shield. Good luck at your draft tomorrow, buddy. That is uh that is awesome. Actually, 
Drafting is probably one of my favorite ways to play Magic. Uh, and I think one of the reasons for that is that you get to utilize cards that you don't normally utilize. Like, you would never play... You might play this, but you'd never play, like, Arcane Flight or Sergeant at Arms in a constructed format. Um, so, like... You just don't get to... Uh, is there a big black ball? Oh, probably. It's probably the green screen. No, it's Mike's mic, actually. Look, there it is. So you get to, like, find new uses for cards like this, or, like, cards like Pegasus Courser, you know, where you don't get to actually play with these cards very frequently. Also, the good thing about playing Raph here is that, like, if they do have a trick for it... Like, we just get to, uh, like, and then they're tapped out usually, most likely. Let's turn you into a white. I thought maybe Wizards printing got so bad the online cards were getting misprinted. Oh, boy. Oh, that's pretty good. Good lord. Who look at our deck. <coughs> I mean, draft and seal give them an excuse to fill boosters with crappy cards, sure, but, like, the cards get drafted, and, like, in draft, they're not crappy. So, like, you're just, I mean, I and I also, I, I see your cap, I get it. Oh, it's on the stack waiting for me. I see. We do have three wizards, right? Wizard, wizard, wizard. I mean, all our guys fly, so... This is the only card we care about. Mm, that's fair. I guess they go to one here. All right, that'll do. Oh, that was good. There, look at that draw. Oh, uh, Pierce the Sky doesn't seem great. We didn't see any invoke targets. We literally saw like three things, right? We saw, well, we saw Jousting Lance. I can see bringing in one invoke. Also, Vicious Hunger. I can see bringing invoke, take out Runamuck. <coughs> Reason we take out Runamuck is. If they have something like Vicious Hunger, we don't want two for one. I mean, nothing about our side of the board was... I mean, like, we had no we had no troubles there. Like, one one compass turns on our whole deck. This is also, also fine. Like, we have two playables. We can play all, all of our fixing cards. White is our most common color, so... Seems good. Now we get to do it again. Oh, Lance Arena. All right. And planes. No, oh, all right. Well, you're not planes, but. Oh, we get to just draw cards? Oh my god, that feels so much better for us than for them. Actually, it might have been better to play Valduck here, but then it gives them a chance to kill it, where I'd rather just go Valduck... Uh, attack immediately with the guy. I wish that the only thing to make this deck better is if the Daragaz was foil. 
What's a foiled Aragaz go for, I wonder? That's pretty okay. I accept that. And look at us go. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Every day we're Val ducking. Also, this elemental art looks fantastic. Foil Daragaz is eight and a half. That's pretty good. I like that we hit our planes before they did. Fantastic. Climb again. I totally did set off. I set off Alexa accidentally. And it's funny that yours went off too. Because I guess they both, they heard the same thing. That's actually kind of funny. Aggressive. Oh, there's the swamp. Amazing. Flintago, good call, buddy. Good call. That's amazing. We just invoke this guy, right? <laughs> oh, boy. The problem with them attacking is they gain a card. We are so far ahead right now that the card benefits them more than it benefits us. Also, our guy has flying, so I don't really foresee them being able to deal with it. Oh, that's actually much stronger than I thought it was. <laughs> now we get two guys. Don't have a second vicious hunger. Oh, boy. I think that's game. Oh, wow. Woo! <clears throat> That'll do, pig. Wow, that was a heck of a game. All right, let's try again, guys. I don't know if... Uh, how long was that match? There's no way that total match was 18 minutes, right? Oh, uh, maybe it was. Five... No, five and eight. Like, both clocks start at 25, so it took us about four minutes and 20 seconds... It took them about eight minutes. So that's 12 minutes total. That's weird. I don't understand what eight minutes and 10 minutes means. Does this mean the game took eight minutes and then the, the, the total time in the round was eight minutes and total time in the round was 10 minutes? Remember when Joshy Kell didn't want us to play the, the, the Valduck? Um. Uh, 
I'm crazy stressed, busy preparing for a murder trial, and nothing calms me like the cool menthol stylings of your streaming voice. Wow. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh my god, this hand is so much better, dude. Oh, we'll keep you on top. That might be greedy, but I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the opposite of greedy, right? We can cast anything now. <coughs> Arvad, Jay Ballard, five, five mountain opening hand. A classic. Oh my god. Come on. Seems totally fine, actually. Turn four, turn five. Whatever. Discard any future lands. Oh boy. This guy into this guy. Attack for Baneslayer. Woo! Deck seems good. I'm getting overly excited, though. They're playing blue-black. They can have anything. Uh, I don't think flashing out Planeswalkers is that bad. The reason people think it's bad is because you don't get to activate them. But the thing you do get to do is protect them. So any Planeswalker who doesn't have a protection ability, you can play them at the end of your opponent's turn, untap, and then play something in front of the Planeswalker to protect it. So it's basically like the Planeswalker is making its own creature. Uh, and denying you're denying your opponent a turn to attack it, which is very, very strong. What if I were the murderer and you could get some Frankie Eld streams in jail? That would be the bee's knees. Sadly, I'm but the defense attorney. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I am a fan. Can we chump this? We, we totally chump this guy, right? And by chump, I mean throw this guy in front. And see if you have it. They always have it. Do they not have it? Eviscerate's a sorcery, so you gotta have Vicious Hunger, but then you gotta sacrifice this guy to kill, or you just block Vicious Hunger. Are we just gonna eat this guy? This guy looks delicious! Oh, that's, that's fine. <coughs> oh, right to bells and lock. Okay. Well, aren't you a spicy meatball? You only have one power on board? This feels like a Jaya turn to me. I have a Twitch Prime logo popping up on the stream image. Uh, you can move it. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, this is just a Jaya turn. You should be able to move it, Daniel. Do you have a Swedish, like a Danish computer? A German computer? Where are you, where are you right now? I forgot where you're at. I'm going to discard land here. I mean, we'd be in a better position if we hadn't blocked, but like... Yeah, we'd be better positioned if they didn't play this. I don't know. What do you what do you want? What doesn't Jaya do? That's the question. One at the face? Wow, they didn't even care. That's just rude. We would like some 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 mana here. So I'm just going to play Arvad here, but I'm, I really want to hit some things. Not some mana. Removal is what I was talking about. I'm pretty sure it's just Arvad into Triumph next turn. If we draw another land, we can play two-headed giant as well. Here comes here comes old Bells and Lock. No, well, uh, you know, Bells and Lock's... 
If it's the right of Bells and Lock, how come it's not summoning Bells and Lock itself? That's what I don't understand. Also, I'm definitely bringing in Radiant Lightning to kill all these guys and make sure you take a million damage from your right of Bells and Lock. <coughs> Still going face. Okay. Well, in Bolus's clutches definitely seems likely here. It's unfortunate Jaya doesn't have a uh, a negative. Yeah, Chris, it's still a demon. Come on, buddy. Don't you work with Magic the Gathering cards? What is this? Vicious hunger. Sacrifice a cleric. No. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about the coughs, guys. I'm just trying to get over this cold. And uh, not going to plus her because we're worried about Embolus' clutches. Then they get vicious hunger, fungal infection back. It's not very good. You think 10 here? Maybe they just don't care about the... Uh... We also don't have many things that go well with... Wow. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Does he get trample? Just double strike, huh? Well, that is unfortunate. I think we're dead now. I wish the lifelink was this turn. If you were a land, that is sad. Hmm. No blocksies. I mean, he's a future land. He's a he's a he's a three mana land. Unfortunately. Got two floaters here. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, so we're definitely bringing in Pierce the Sky for Run Amok. Uh, unfortunately, we can't play the dragon. We don't have seven mana. That's not how dragons work. Uh, we didn't play the huge dude because Jai Ballard says spend this mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells. Uh, Daragaz is a legendary creature dragon, not an instant or a sorcery spell. So. You know, just to be clear. I like that you guys thought I literally had plus three mana. Just like you think Jaya just gives plus three mana event just just for the heck of it. That would be amazing. Wow. 
That's, woo. That's a hell of a planeswalker. I will play first. And this hand is perfect. This card is so good. Have you thought about turning Daragaz into an instant sorcerer so you could use Jaya like that? That's actually a great question, Billy. Um, I haven't, but I should is really the answer. All right. Mm, double blue, huh? Okay. I'm definitely going to wait to cast this. We only have... Uh, if we can hit... Like, if we hit another land, we can play Aven Sentry. If we hit another land, then we can just cast Grow for five. Trigger this. That'd be cool. Single paid for one? No. I'm going to blow my nose real quick, guys. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to subject you to that, though, so... Okay, we're back. Tempted to just put an arcane flight on here. Also could pierce the sky. Could also grow here. <clears throat> to pump. I do want to hit a land drop. Oh my god. It's just perfect. We have the most white, which is why I'm not getting the white mana. Now I'm going to get a swamp because... It lets us cast Arvad and Daragaz. Ideally, by next week, I'll be I'll be unsick again, and I'll feel normal. I don't really want to take three from this guy. I also think it's good enough to... Uh... I think it's good enough to approach. Yeah, that seems fine. You spent four, I spent two. I wish I could have gotten the trigger here, but we could have could have kept her up and blocked. That's pretty cool. Oh, divination. I'll choose this one again. Wow, literal. Did I just... Did I get the bug? Was it on my nose? And did I get it? I don't know. Hard to say. It did fly on my nose, though. So if you guys... Got the got mountain island swamp in play with with green card white card and graveyard. Fantastic. 
Oh, I love it. <coughs> Anyone who shits on Compass has, has got another thing coming. Hey, look what I did. Using all my resources, I'll put you down to three. Feeling good about my board state, but, uh... Frank's deck with such hits as Navigator's Compass and Arcane Flight. Wonderful. Alrighty then. So here's the thing. The compass is bad, right? It's a necessary evil though. You put it in your deck and you can basically cast anything, I think. Um, if you're like a two or three color deck and you're playing, you shouldn't be playing compass in two color deck, but if you're a three color deck, like it gives you any color mana. It gives you a second of your base colors and it gives you the first of your, of your splash color. It, I mean, it doesn't ramp you, but it does the same thing as something that says, like, add a mana of any color. You know, it's it's good. It has its uses, I think. But it is a card that doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? I'm going to actually keep this hand because we have Kelden Raider and we have Skittering Surveyor. It's like, a, it's like a prism that doesn't cantrip. Instead of cantripping, it actually, uh, what do you call it? It gains you three life. I think we just want a black here. But if we get a green, it does put, it turns grow online. Black turns Arvad online, which isn't, I could care less about that. I think it's probably green here. We have one black card and one green card. The green card is better for the other cards in our deck. Also, I mean, the fact that, like, Compass lets you play so many more... Um, okay. Actually going to discard Mountain here. I accept. Um, it lets you play so many more, like, legendary creatures, right? Like, I can play Raph, I can play Arvad, I can play Jay's Emulating Inferno because I can play these guys. So, you know, it just... It gives you a lot of... There's a lot of incremental factors that, that go into playing Navigator's Compass, which is super weird. Uh, the card has been super surprising to me. I don't think they're blocking either of these guys. If they want to block here, that's fine. No blocks, huh? Any black or blue, and I think we're just in really good shape. We're probably in a pierce the sky situation here. I don't want to take six. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, I'll take four. Oh, uh, we didn't Inferno because you don't have a legendary permanent. That is why we didn't Inferno. Because you can't just you can't just want to cast Inferno and have it happen. Leovold, six months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Cards have text. They totally do. They totally do. All right. Next turn, you could have cast that for a million. I mean, funny enough, Radiant Lightning is not nothing here. Hmm. Oh, you're going to Fungal Infection. I see. You got it. <clears throat> Here comes Rites of Bells and Lock. Right in time for our Radiant Lightning. <laughs> Four, so we take five. Do we rate to Radiant Lightning in order to get more value next turn? It means we can't play something next turn. I think we'd rather do it now to save the point. I hope they don't have Syncopate for one. Okay. Yeah, this green is biting us because we didn't have we didn't have Jai's emulating Inferno at the time. If we draw a blue or a black and we can play Arvad and have it survive for a turn, we can actually in emulating Inferno. To death. Maybe. I mean, the thing is, we can actually just kill all these creatures with Immolating Inferno and then deal them six, but... We didn't wait a turn because we have nothing to do. If we drew, like, a card that could let us play a thing, we can't play Radiant Flame and a card next turn. So I was, I'm, I'm, I'm playing to my outs, which is playing one of these guys. Whereas if we keep Radiant Inferno up, like, we don't get the option to play either of these guys. And that's not worth it for two tokens for me. Okay. <coughs> this game's going to be close, I think. They didn't play anything last turn or this turn. That's interesting to me. And they're also at six right now. Don't have a counter spell.
They didn't counter Gideon's reproach. Did I blink of an eye? I don't think they have any flash creatures. Creatures. They don't have another fungal infection, I don't think. They got costs. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. They're at two. <coughs> Hilarious. Wow. I mean, it's uncommon. Like... I also don't think it's that great. A lot of people are high on this card. I don't understand it. You have two cards? Do you have another creature? Are you dead to your own demon? Again? Wait. Wait. Dingus Egg, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. See, if they have another creature to sack, we have enough blockers to survive, so I don't actually think we attack here. <laughs> oh, demon, demon, demon. You got it. Six. That's a six four, good buddy. Well, we could have we could have won here. Sure. Actually, do we still win? Three three three. Yeah, we do. Never mind. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'll just assume they don't have it. Okay, good. Woo! <laughs> let's not let's not mess around here. What were you guys saying about the deck being a hot mess or something? I don't know, it was weird. I thought you guys said something. I'll keep this hand. Two colors, a sword. Yeah, that game was good. Our choices were relevant. Like, Radiant Flames, we could have waited a turn, which would have been so much better. Not not better, but it would have been better with the Demon. Uh, I liked when we did it because if we drew a black or a blue source, uh, or even, like, a Grow, like, we would have been able to play, like, Raft that turn, which is, I think, a lot stronger, so. What up, Silvermaith? Like you do. <coughs> Seems good. Probably just got a blue here, I guess. I don't know. I guess it depends on what we draw. We have one blue card. In hand. 
and one blue card in the deck. Two cards in the deck. We have two green cards. I'm tempted to do the green thing again. Just because of Grow. And we still have Memorial. We'll have Memorial Compass in deck for blue. I just don't think... I think the value of having a green and then fixing all of our mana is higher than the value of just playing the one card in our hand. That's my theory. I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk a green here. Like, even if it didn't work out last game, I still think it was the correct choice. Get rewarded. I'm actually just gonna pass here because we have I think our, our late deck our late game is better than theirs. Okay. It's actually pretty good. Now we can activate this at some point. I'm going to attack because I don't think you're blocking. Yeah, didn't think so. But now you will be attacking. What's your opinion on cast down versus other removal in standard? Uh, I don't actually like cast down at all. I think one of the main threats in, in standard is uh, Scarab God. And I just don't want to be played against a deck that has a Scarab God. <clears throat> but conversely, I think maybe as a one of it's fine. But like, I'd rather have something like... I don't know. Are you playing black decks that don't have r blue in them? That's the first time I've seen that. We're going to pass here. And if we... I'm not going to block any of your guys with Adelies, so... Actually, maybe we just kill this now. They have two cards in hand. What is this? Five and a tap? One, two, three, four, five. All right. Yeah, that's better. Get the three points in. I'm not going to block your guys. I guess we could have done that uh, on their turn. But then they could have actually tapped this. Uh, we haven't drawn Daragaz once. That is correct. All right, I really want an answer for that. Um... I'm going to move you. Because now we can block two twos and the three one. Yeah, we're going to pop the moral on their turn. Or at the end, the end of the turn, anyway. All right. This four five is surprisingly frightening right now. Oh my god. So we can deal seven, but that seems limited. We're going to take the run amuka out against this deck. All right, guess we're going to two. Yeah, I think our, our Shivan fire was hasty. We could have waited, killed this in response, had really good blocks. Compass would be great off the top. We go to five, which lets us take the hit from this guy, and we have Arvad to block the other guy. That's not going to actually... I 
I don't think it does anything, but... <laughs> does that keep us alive? No. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to seven. Maybe they try to kill Jaya, though. I guess they could do it, Jaya? Nope. All at us, huh? Boy, no one cares about Jaya. That is sad. Fashion really late to the party constantly, huh? All right, we're going to take you out. We're going to take Jaya out. We saw two of the 3-1 guy. That might be enough for Radiant Lightning. Invoke is good enough for the other card. So we're bringing Radiant and Invoke. trying to get this bug it's not working come sail away come sail away with me Yeah, the reserve list buyouts are pretty insane. <laughs> I'm actually like, it's kind of discouraging because if you ever want to pick up one of those cards, like for a, uh... yeah, this is okay. For like a format that you play or don't play. I like Valduck on three and then uh, Surveyor and Arcane Flight on four. That seems pretty good. Ideally, we'll draw... One of these colors before then. Not yet. But if we get a blue, like, we have the second most amount of planes, so. I can't help but wonder if these buyouts are an effort to, uh, an effort to, like, strong-arm Watsi into, oh, that was a great draw. <laughs> wow. Strong-arm Watsi into reprinting these cards. Right? Like, hey, if you're not going to reprint them, we're going to make sure they're none available. I'll deal you seven. Yeah, sure, buddy. Academy Rector is why you're not playing Legacy. Figured it out. Are we afraid of Reproach here? Kind of? Yeah, I think so. They have four mana. They didn't play anything. That seems pretty obvious what's going on here.
How fascinating. Well, I'll block here. If you want to reproach this guy, that's fine. He's just weaker than Valduk at this point. Hmm. I see. Now I wish I had seal away mana. I don't really want to take five here. I guess we'll block. Is this right? This feels bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm just gonna seal away your Davant Trapper. That's a big one. We have no other wizards? That's really sad. I'll just play as a blocker, I guess. You got it. Eh, eh. Okay. Sounds good. Man, I guess we don't have this. I hope. I guess we just hope you don't have this again. No, it doesn't have trample, so that's fine. So this is gonna. We're gonna take six. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm trying to think of anything that has trample and like how big it has to be to. Uh, I see. Well, this game's going quite well for you. Yeah. And we're going to hold the mountain in case we draw Keldon Raiders or whatever. All right, so we go to one here. If we draw the run amok, we sideboard it out, we win. That's pretty good. Otherwise, we die. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Oh, boy. All right. Well, get pretty flooded last game. That's pretty fun. Uh, otherwise, our deck seemed pretty sweet. Unfortunately, we uh, did not get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons or check out other content up there. You can also check me out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Link's in the description. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.